focusing on small businesses that have somehow managed to thrive this year despite the pandemic. Yeah, Chanel's here with a closer look at precisely how they have been able to make it work. Yes, good morning. A lot of people paying attention to this one. So many small businesses all across the country have been hit hard. By one estimate, four million could be lost by the end of this year. But it's not all bad news. With a little creativity and a rise in online shopping, some have not only stayed afloat, but actually grown their businesses while boosting sales. Here's how they did it. Melissa Horvath's home decor business is a small operation that makes candles, mugs, and makeup bags with a mission to motivate and inspire customers. We have a lot of heart in our products. We have a lot of heart in everything that we ship, everything that we make, everything that we do. But when the coronavirus pandemic first hit and businesses were forced to shut down, she didn't know if her company would survive. We saw everything shutting down around us and sales started to dip and we were actually really scared for what was going to happen. But after a couple of months, something unexpected happened. Online sales started to explode. With our candles just booming right now, our sales right now are three to four times what they were last year. Probably from a lot of people just shopping online during this time and giving gifts. One of her best sellers, this Let's Stay Home candle, which she coincidentally created before COVID. During the shelter in place order, Melissa making the decision to donate the profits from the candle sales to the World Health Organization. That actually helped sales increase for that candle and helped people too make sure to say, hey, let's stay home. They gave it as gifts to remind their friends, their family to stay home. They had a great smelling candle at the same time. Her e-commerce business doing so well, she's been able to hire more than 20 employees and is running out of warehouse space to create, pack, and ship all of her products. It's been really great that we were able to hire on, and we had to hire on quickly, especially for how many sales that we had on Amazon. We've just been growing as much as we can. So many other small businesses like hers forced to pivot, turning to online sales to not only survive, but thrive, with e-commerce expected to grow by nearly 20% this year. For companies like Minimo, Skin Essentials in Texas that mainly do business online, that's been a good thing from the start of the pandemic. So many people at their time were sitting at home, you know, wondering what's going to happen and able to, to see our advertising and ads. And so that really allowed us to grow during that time. With people spending more time at home, online orders for skincare products like scrubs and toners pouring in. Also giving the business a huge boost in curbside pickups and international sales. I've had to be creative with how we reach customers and how we really get the message of our brand across. Every single time we have a product that goes out to a customer, you know, it feels like it's going out to a friend. Before stay-at-home orders even hit, Door County Coffee in Wisconsin made a tough decision. We had closed the cafe and our food service channel, which is selling to hospitals, universities, um, hotels, coffee shops, they were all closed. People were working remotely. That business kind of dried up. But with a chunk of this bean business coming from online sales, they were able to stay alive. The e-commerce business was really so important to us because we ship coffee in every state, a couple different countries. We have super fans that really love our product. So being able to sell online was really a gift for us. The coffee company made up for their losses and kept all of its staff employed. They redecorated, they remodeled, They did all sorts of odd jobs. Many of our people were picking orders, helping us get our e-commerce orders out, even helping operate machines. It was really a great team effort and still is to this day. With newfound success in the middle of a pandemic, these small business owners hope the only way to go is up. It is so nice to hear success stories. And I want to mention all three tell us they've hired more employees to keep up with demand. So that is certainly good news. And if you head to today.com, you can actually help support these small businesses with our work, uh, with work with our sponsor, Amazon. So Prime members, here's the deal, who spend $10 on items sold by select small business brands can receive a $10 credit to redeem during Prime Day. And of course, that was created by Amazon, which has an affiliate relationship with today. So whenever you buy an Amazon product through our site, Amazon pays today a small commission for that sale. I was just saying, you know, if we're going to do something, we want to help small businesses. Yeah. So every dollar counts when you're helping these businesses stay afloat. I'm I'm glad that we found some good small business stories because they're kind of hard to find these days. Thank you very much, Chanel Jones. We are back in a moment. This is today on NBC.